The Splatoon 3 Direct gave us lots of info about returning maps, modes, and weapons, but we have an entirely new ranking system that they honestly barely explained, and after reviewing how the mode will work on the official website, I believe I finally have an idea about how everything will work, including the details about X rank. My name is Mello, and if you enjoy the content, please feel free to like and subscribe, and without hesitation, let's jump right in. Starting with Anarchy Battle Series, the website explains that you'll need to sacrifice some of your rank points as a fee in order to start playing. The people you go against are based on your rank and the amount of wins you have, and when you start Anarchy Battle by sacrificing some points, a challenge will occur until you've won 5 times or lost 3 times, so with every challenge you need to maintain a positive win rate to win the entire challenge. After a challenge, rank points will be doled out, and the more wins you received within that challenge, the more rank points you'll obtain. They also note that medals are another way to get rank points. So let's look at this a little more visually with the image of Direct provided to us. We'll say you're currently at C- minus with 146 rank points, and when you start a new challenge in Anarchy Battle, you wager 20 points and drop down to 126 rank points. You play your 5 matches, and as long as you get 5 wins before you get 3 losses, you'll always end up getting back more points than you wagered. The website mentions though that the more wins you get within a challenge, the more points you'll be rewarded at the end. So if you get 1 or 2 losses before reaching 5 wins, you'll receive less points compared to if you get 5 wins in a row without losing a single time. Now let's say you're insane at the game and never lose through two back-to-back -back challenges that will reward you 60 points each. You finish with 226 rank points and finally have enough points to rank up to C rank. Now let's continue. You reach 226 points at C- and rank up to C rank. You obviously can't start with 0 points at C rank or else you have nothing to wager, so the game jumps you up to let's say 100 rank points total, and the minimum amount you need to rank up to is 200 points again. Since you're playing in a higher rank instead of wagering 20 points, you now have to wager 25 points since the website mentions higher ranks means higher wagers and the whole cycle starts again. But let's go back to the beginning with a rank you can typically rank down from. You're at B plus with 146 rank points, but this time you keep losing and losing and losing every single challenge and keep dropping 20 points all the way down until you have 0 points left. While it may seem like you'd rank down at this point, it's actually not going to be possible anymore through playing matches, so you don't have to worry about that. If you actually do hit 0 points though, the game may give you a few more points, but let's say 50, so you can start wagering again and attempt to rank up once more. And with that, that's how I personally believe the Anarchy ranking system will work in Splatoon 3, but there's some more details to talk about. Firstly, to start Anarchy battles, you must first reach level 10 by playing Turf War, but now you have the option to skip all of that by conveniently transferring your data from Splatoon 2 if you've played it. In addition to this, you'll receive 3 Gold Sheldon licenses that you can redeem to obtain any weapon you'd like, regardless of your current level, and depending on your rank from Splatoon 2, you could ultimately start Splatoon 3 with a higher rank, which is super helpful as well. Going back to Anarchy Battles, once you start a challenge, you're not forced to finish it and you can leave to resume it at a later time. Also with Anarchy Battle Open, it doesn't matter if you have less than 4 people on your team total to play with, as the game will match you up with random people similar to your skill level. In Anarchy Battles, ranks aren't split up into the individual modes like they were in Splatoon 2, and ranks will go from C- all the way up to S plus 50. The website also mentions something called rank up battles, which is how you go between letter ranks such as C plus to B minus, B plus to A minus, or A plus to S. You must play with players of the same rank you're trying to rank up to, and must get at least 3 wins in order to ultimately rank up. You will still have a set number of points, and losing at least 3 matches will simply continue to bring that number down like I mentioned before. Every 3 months for all players, your rank will drop down by 2 ranks for every season, which is most likely timed with a new catalog system for Hot Lances. If you're in C+, you'll go down to C-, B+, will drop down to B-, if you have anything from S-0 to S-9, you'll drop down to S rank, and anyone above S-10 will drop down to S-0. In short, you must continue playing Anarchy Battles within every 3 months if you want to maintain your rank as well. I hope everything I explained just now makes a little bit more sense, but one final thing to note is that X rank will be returning to the game as well in the future. Once it arrives, anyone at S plus 0 or higher will automatically be put into X rank. You'll be forced to play by yourself, and your X power will be determined through the first 5 battles rather than the first 10 like it was in Splatoon 2. At the end of the month, the top 500 players will still be honored, and with X rank you now have the option to select which region you'd like to play in, regardless of where you live. Be careful though, as regions cannot be changed during a 3 month season. I hope I was able to answer any questions you had regarding how Anarchy Battles and X-Rank could work in the next game, and if I miss anything or you have any additional questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton, and thank you all for watching. Stay mellow, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.